Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Aries, I am here to do um, a collective love reading, right? Because we've got the, uh, the full moon in Scorpio going on. Um, so I'm just I just wanted to check your guys's energy see what's going around with you know around your energy um, Yeah uh, And I even got a song for you, but let me get through my spiel um, This reading Aries is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone if it doesn't resonate with you It's okay. Don't panic. It just means that I didn't pick up on your story today. That's all but if it does resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, guys. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. I also want to thank everybody for their support. Uh, everyone's just been absolutely fabulous. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Aries, you've all been beautiful, but you know that, you know, yeah, yeah, who couldn't love an Aries, right? So anyway, Aries, yeah, um, this one's for you, baby. So the song, <laughs> the song that was playing um, right before I started this and, and flipped the decks upside down was I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. That one kind of speaks for itself. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let that, that, I mean, I, I don't think I need to say anything else. Somebody wants you back, Aries. They want you back. That's it. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. They want you back. That's what I'm hearing. Jackson 5, yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person's having some long nights getting messages from the divine. This is long night. This is eating, overindulging. This person could just be watching you at night and eating, Aries. That's it. That they're they're stuffing their faces and eating. Um I, I feel like they're they're kind of being kept from you right now. And they're feeling quite hopeless, okay? Um they may be the, the, your person could even be in jail, but they feel like they're locked up somewhere. They feel like they're caged, they're trapped, locked up tight. Um, yeah, and I feel like until they get out of that situation, they're kind of blocked off from you, but they are watching you. I feel like this person is watching you from afar and overindulging. They're up late at night. I'd be surprised if this person was getting any sleep at all. I mean... You know, they look pretty squished there in their little personal jail, you know. But yeah, I think the divine is keeping this person from you until they get their act together. Um, this is definitely a person from your past, okay? They're, they're feeling very nostalgic about you, Aries, during the full moon, okay? Um, this is... You were somebody who nurtured them, who offered them... Uh, an abundance in love whenever they needed you were there for this person okay and they can't stop thinking about how warm your love was how it was unconditional how you were always there for them you were you always cared about them you nurtured them you were kind to them you were really you were everything and that's kind of what your person saying really they were everything as they look back and, and have these memories about you. Really, you were everything. That's kind of what they're saying. And and they're hopeless here. Their ship is going down. Um, this could be um, a commitment also that they're in that could be going down. But your person is very worried, concerned, troubled, and uneasy. There could even be a sick child here, but that's not what I'm seeing. I'm really seeing that they're worried because they feel like they're losing this connection and now they, they can't stop thinking about the connection. You see what I mean? And it's making your person feel frustrated, like they're rushed, they're in a hurry to get to you and be clear on things with you. I feel like this is your person wanting to communicate all of this. Okay, this is, this is having clarity and bringing clarity to a situation. 
speaking your truth, maybe even cutting something out. But they can't stop thinking about you, Aries, and it's making them want to come in and talk, okay? Like I said, they've been watching you, but they've actually been studying you. Studying you to try to figure out, you know, how to get to you because they're they're feeling hopeless here pessimistic despondent and defeated i got defeated earlier i i felt like there was some defeat here earlier because of of this what else was it i don't remember but yeah this person is totally nostalgic about you and because of that they can't stop watching you but they're learning you they're learning the details they're learning the details about you because you've been off doing your own thing. You're not paying any attention to this person. Not in the Queen of Wands energy, you're not. You're like paying attention to your own improvement, your own projects, going after what you want with a passion. You don't waste any time or play any games with people. You're not here to play freaking games. And so, you know, all your person can do is watch you from afar and try to relearn you. And that's kind of what I'm feeling like is that they're relearning you. You know? Yeah. They can't get over how you loved them in the past. And now they're feeling hopeless, worried, frustrated, desperate and powerless, paralyzed, ineffective, weak. They probably do feel weak. I do feel like they are a bit um, kind of broken down a little bit, uh, especially here with the Four of Swords. Yeah, and desperate, frantic, out of control, in need. I feel like they're in need of you. Um, there's a sick kid here, you know, maybe they're in need of some kind of healing, you know, but this person, they feel very hopeless, frustrated, blocked. You could have them blocked. Maybe they've tried to communicate with you, but there's a blockage here. Or, you know, they're just stuck somewhere. Like I said, I, I, I feel like they are stuck somewhere. You know? And they're running out of time. They're running out of time. That's, I feel like that's how they feel. You know, so I, they're taking a rest period here. Your person's, this... This is kind of like, I feel a defeat feeling off of this. I did earlier too. You know, because they're laying here, been through a battle. I, I feel like they have. They're exhausted. They're thinking about all the heartbreak that they've caused. And that they need to communicate the truth, but they need to pray. That This person's praying. And their prayers are being heard. You know, I, I feel like the prayers are being heard. Um, but yeah, they, they're trying to find a way. How do I communicate now after I've caused so much pain? But even though they're praying for an answer here, they know they need to communicate. They do. There's that sword right there. Same sword. They are going to pick up this sword and they're going to communicate the truth to you. I'm telling you, this is what they're thinking about right now during this full moon energy, Aries. This person, but they're praying, how, how, because they're hopeless. So finally, they're turning to the divine for some answers, which is, which is good. I feel like they see you as their happiness. You could be dealing with a Leo, you know, or an air sign. But I feel like they see you as being the ultimate, okay? If they could communicate with you and try to heal this heartbreak from this third bit i think it was a third party situation um that they could maybe have a chance have a crack at happiness here you know yeah and look this is what they want this is how they see you they know they can have this fairy tale ending with you aries they know they can yeah let's do it in a william shatner voice they know they can have this fairy tale ending. I'm, I'm not good with William Shatner. I need to work on that one. I just thought it would be more dramatic because seriously, that's how they feel. They know it. They're praying. 
It is dramatic for this person, okay? This is how they see you, the ultimate happy ending. The ultimate happy, happy ending. Okay, they want this with you. The problem is, is that they're already committed, I think, to someone else, or perhaps they can see this with you too. Being able to build something stable, something that's financially abundant as well. They can see themselves possibly committing to you, but I'm getting the strong sense, especially from this third party here, and the fact that they're not ready and the divine isn't allowing them near you yet, I feel like they're already committed somewhere else. But once again, now we have a second Six of Cups. This person, quite simply, Aries, cannot stop thinking about you. Crap. You know, seriously. And this, I feel, is now, like... It's such a strong soulmate connection between you two. It could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. And the only reason I'm saying that right now, honestly, is because of this person here in the background. This is the only card in all of my decks that has this dude back here. And that tells me that, see, this is like um, a spirit guide. And this person guides these two together in every lifetime because they're soulmates, they're true soulmates. This is unconditional love here. Unconditional love that's given freely, very nurturing, very caring, very kind. Not one poor intention here in this card, right? Not one. And this person can't stop thinking about that because that's what they had once. And now they want you back they want you back. Yeah. They want you back. <laughs> yeah, so they want to come in and communicate here because they're in so much pain over this. You know why? Because they have a ton of love for you, but they never showed you. They didn't tell you. They didn't tell you how they felt about you. They held back intentionally. Why? I don't freaking know. I feel like this person is like... Uh, you know, the King of Cups is kind of a butt nut in the fact that he's very wishy-washy. Like, um, he's got one foot in and one foot out. He's, he feels for you on the inside, has a ton of love for you on the inside. But look at, like, he's like, I think I will hold my love back today. Like, you know, it's just not right. You know what I mean? He's so wishy-washy. So this is somebody who really didn't let you know how they felt about you. They really didn't. And they probably didn't show you either. They probably didn't give you anything. You were probably mostly the giver here. I feel like they may have leaned on you. This person could have been a little younger than you as well. And, you know, they can't stop thinking about you now, though. Praying. Because they know they can have happiness and a perfect freaking ending with you. Uh, literally perfect. Look at So it, even if they are in a commitment, this person sees you as being financially stable, the most lovingest lovey lovey dovey out there, okay? Especially since they also see you as the queen of cups, right? And, and, and you're their happiness? You are their happiness. If this person's laying here praying, praying that they can have this with you, Aries. Jeez. But yet, I think I will continue to hold my love back from Aries. Like, what the crap, dude? Really? That's why I get, I get really irked when I see the King of Cups. But in all honesty, Aries, I'm glad he's out here. Because you know what, that just tells me that this person, that just confirms even more that they see you as their match. We got a king and queen here. King and queen of cups. He's holding his love back from you. Meanwhile, you're boop, walking clear off your own reading. <laughs> With that cup, you're like, I'm just going to take my cup of love and keep on walking. That's how I see this one. But he sees you as being the ultimate in 
loving, nurturing, caring, kind energy. Just like what I talked about in the Six of Cups. Okay? You are the ultimate love to this person. You could be caring too. She looks kind of pregnant to me in this photo. I don't know why. I don't usually see that with the Queen of Cups, but yeah. You could very well be because she is the mother of, of the um, of the deck, basically her and the Empress. <coughs> but they see you as literally no one, no one could love them the way you did. No one could ever love them the way you did. And I feel like they can feel your energy walking clear off your spread, okay? And it, it, it's just so painful for them because now it's kind of like, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, pal, right? Yeah, they didn't know how damaging it would be to them, to them, to hold their love back from you, you know? And now they're having to deal with the heartbreak and betrayal that they did to you in that third party now, praying. This person's on their back, man, freaking praying. Yeah, praying for all of this with you and that ultimate love of yours. So here they come. Here they come, Aries, wanting to apologize, okay? Wanting to apologize for the, uh, all of the betrayal and putting you in a third party and cutting your heart out. They want to apologize for that now, Aries, because the wheel's turning. Things have to start moving and shaking here now. Okay, they got to start moving and shaking. You can feel it coming, too. You can feel it that this person is starting to move. Okay, somebody may even be actually making a, an actual house move now that I said that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person's coming to apologize. I feel like, though, in the background, there may be somebody that they're still connected to. Holding on to the pentacle. Okay? Or their testicle. Whatever you, whatever you fill in the blank. Okay. So, yeah, this person's in pain. In pain. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, did I mention, yeah, they want a passionate new beginning. This, burst, this person really does burn with passion for you. They really do. They really do. Especially considering that they can feel your energy pulling back and you're just like, I'm outie. That's pretty much where you're headed. You're headed right off of your page. I'm gone. You have your back turned towards all of this from the past, okay? Um, but they are looking into a new future, and I feel like this person's very passionate about you um, in more ways than one, okay? Let's just say that. And I feel like, yeah, they're having an extreme, an extremely painful, this person's in pain, man. They can feel this ending, and they're praying that it doesn't. They're praying they can get that happiness, a chance at it, back again, okay? Because this person can't, they just can't let you go, Aries. They can't. I almost feel like crying because I can kind of feel this. They can't stop watching you. They can't take their eyes off of you. This person, during this full moon, it's, it's that passion's burning them more than ever before. More than ever before. I'm hearing now um, Rascal Flats come wake me up. I've heard that before for readings. Come wake me up. It's There's something about it. They're up late at night. They can't stop thinking about it. It, it. The flames, something about the flames. Look up the song by Rascal Flatts. I'm hearing, come wake me up, but there's something about the flames. It, it This passion just keeps burning. They can't seem to let you go. They cannot seem to let you go. I can't think of all the words to the song now, guys, but I know, I know, 
I know that there's a message in that song for you. I just can't. I'm thinking of this and I can't, oh shoot. I can't think of the words. But there's something in that song about this, about this, okay? This right here, please trust me on that one. I know, I know it sounds foolish, but I, please just listen to the song. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Just listen to the song. The song, yes. The, the, song, the song will describe the emotions is what I'm hearing. The song is going to describe the emotions because I want you back doesn't quite, you don't get the feel from that, but in the Rascal Flat songs, song you will. So listen to the song, I guess. But yeah, they see you as this, dreamy very very dreamy being able to manifest whatever you want you're like a you're like a dream to this person you know and you're you're literally you've got your magic with abundance here okay everything you touch you can you can think up whatever you want you're probably a healer you make this person you take away their pain with your nurturing. You know, this is not a sexual card at all. This is a healing card, Aries. Okay, this person, they feel defeated and, and drained, okay? And they come to this person here. She has all the color in her cheeks. And this person falls into her arms just to be healed to have somebody to fall into. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? And that's not a sexual thing. All you have to do is touch this person and it makes them feel better. Not only are you abundant, and you're gonna be abundant in your future as well because you're just magic to this person. But now, not only were you nurturing before, but they realized that how, just how healed they feel by you. And now they're kind of in shock at themselves for losing you, for letting you slip right through their fingers. You, they let you slip right through their fingers, Aries. And all they can do is watch and wish you are a beacon for this person. They live in a place right now where it's really nothing but darkness. Nothing but darkness and chaos, okay? But you, you shine bright for them. And you're like, you're like a beacon of light. This is their only thing that they can see that's bright in all of this darkness around them, okay? Is you. You, you, you. And they're, not only are they in awe, that they can't seem to let go and even though they this thing appears to be dead okay it appears to be over very painfully over this person just can't let you go they just can't let you go Aries they can't and they're they're amazed at themselves because they're realizing, I can't let this person freaking go. They're realizing it. It's kind of shocking to them. They're processing that information. I think they're low-key surprised by that. And out of all of their options, the only one that they hold a passion for is you. You know? You. You. And they watch you, and they look at you, and they study you, and they can't take their eyes off of you. Even though they think it's over and dead, even though you think it's over and dead, this person's holding on with a kung fu grip, and he can't take his eyes off of you, Aries. Dead or not. Those flames just keep burning. They just keep burning. You see what I'm saying? And you know this. I feel like you intuitively can feel it. All right? Um, she's the keeper of secrets, too. If there's any secrets, you're holding on to them. But I don't feel that. I feel like 
It's your intuition. You can feel it. You're not speaking, you know, with this card either to this person. And I feel like they're not speaking to you, especially not right now, because they're absolutely dumbfounded that they can't stop thinking about you. I think they're trying, but they can't. You know that. You know you're mystifying this person. They're mystified. They're mystified. Day, night, they're making a wish for you. This is wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment and you know it. They may even be overindulging, doing a lot of over drinking. Okay? And still, nothing but wishing for you and studying you. Like I said, studying you. Late at night. I don't think this person sleeps. I don't think they sleep. I honestly, I think all they do is watch you and think about you because they just can't let you go. They can't let you go, Aries. All right, let's see if there's going to be any action taken, okay? What action is this? What, yeah, what is this person going to do? What are they going to do? What is this person going to do? What action are they taking towards Aries? They don't know. They don't know what to do. I think they're, that they may have a commitment in the background that they're not even thinking about. This person's not thinking about. If they're with somebody else, they're not thinking about that person. Their mind, their passion, their whole soul is with you. They don't know what to do. During this full moon... Okay, sorry about that, Aries. During this full moon energy, they're not going to know what to do. They're still going to be at a crossroads. They're still probably going to be trying their best to ignore this, even though there's no, there's just no way. I'm hearing it again, Rascal Flats. I'm hearing little, you know, he's got that distinct voice, and I'm hearing his voice, and I know it's this song because they're showing me pieces of the video. And, and I love that video, okay? So I just can't remember the words right now, but please, that Rascal Flat song, it'll explain it all. It will. All right, what, else, what are they gonna do here? Show me what else, what plan do they have? Anything, they wanna come towards you for a victory. This person really does want a victory. They just, they feel stuck. They feel like they need to make a decision. They do need to make a decision. They need to speak their truth and cut something out. And I feel like even though they want to come towards you as quickly as they can, like I said in the beginning, the divine isn't letting them right now. The divine is keeping this person away from you. They want to have this new beginning with you but they're keeping them away from coming in because they still have to cut something out. They can't come in until they cut something out. Okay, if this person is committed, I, I take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm feeling here, that this person has another commitment, but they don't, there's nothing about that other person in here at all, at all. All of the love is for you, Aries. That's it. And this person wants a brand new beginning. They're feeling like a fool. They want a brand new beginning. They can't help it. This person can't help it. Look at the look on their face. All right. What else can you show me here for Aries? Yeah, they want that new beginning. Even I'm not reading reversals. They want the new beginning. Yeah, they want it. They can't stop. They can't stop thinking about you. You're like everything to this person. They're not thinking about any anything or anyone else. Yeah, look. Oh my good lord. Look. Six of Cups again with another Ten of Cups. This person knows they can have this with you. You guys could have children. Children could be involved here as well. They may want a baby with you. But this is what they want. They can't 
They cannot shake you, Aries. Holy cow. Wow, this person's energy is just... They, they're stuck. They're stuck on you is where they're stuck. They're stuck on you, Aries. They're not letting you go. And that's their energy. That's what's going on around you for for uh, the, at least the next few days of full moon energy um, in Scorpio. So, all right, listen, Aries, I hope that resonated with you. If it didn't, look, just take what resonates and, and leave what doesn't for those who need the messages. But if it did resonate with you and you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to my channel and help me grow, man. Yeah, right, we're growing together here. And, um, yeah, until next time, enjoy moon bathing, Aries, and um, peace out.